I have a little bit of a dilemma, and I'll just probably try to find out a, a, an answer because um, I I agree a lot with your part on the, the on the driven by efficiency and now by change and that the fly of how everything are changing, which are very good on that. And, and you mentioned about process and a structure and the changes that happen in now the network the project basis. And what I'm observe there are there are a lot of more projects that are shorter, faster, very dynamic. Um, and then we're still having a lot to, okay, we need to do the project canvas, we need to do this, and, and we still have like a, show me a project chapter, a process, and, and the part that you're mentioning is, is that maybe it's not happening that anymore, it's, it's a very dynamic. Sometimes we go straight for implementation. So when, and, and I see and at the end of the presentation, you try to find out a little bit on the project life cycle to say, yeah, this one is reduction and it's a little bit involved, but I'm seeing sometimes coming everything into one single stage uh, and the dynamic is very confusing. I don't see too much time for planning, especially when we talk about three or six month project implementation. So. Um, I, I, that's the dilemma I have. We spend a lot of time trying to fill Canvas projects and everything, but in another part, I'm seeing a lot of agility. So what's the best approach? Thank you, Hernando. Great question. I, I think this is one of the challenges that project managers, uh, project leaders have is, um, it's like, for example, you the best cooks, right? The, the chefs in the, they still uh, learn through cooking recipes, right? But now when you have the experiences, you work more depending on each occasion, you mix the different tools and the ingredients. So I think that we need to move away from all this paperwork bureaucracy. I do think that thinking before launching a project is extremely important. <clears throat> Maybe not three months, but having a thought of, is this really what we want? Is this, do we have the capacity? Because one of the things of the big uh, <clears throat> uh, resignation is that people didn't resign before when everybody was working in operations, right? That, that There's no doubt about that. People were just knowing nine to five and that's it. People are resigning because they have one project on top of their day to day and another project and another project and another project and another project. And then this is overwhelming. So what I think is leaders need to be a bit more um, <clears throat> selective i always say this is a bit of a, a um, not a joke but i can go in any company and cancel half of the projects 50 percent of the projects i could go if you have 800 cancel 400 today nothing will happen nothing will happen and you can cancel more with the pandemic companies cancel 90 percent of the project so i think there's a need from the start which is we need less projects, but better, more focus, better resources. And that's what I'm afraid when we talk about launching projects very quickly is that I come across many companies now that they have more projects than people. How can they do that? They are right because we make it too easy and then people don't have, they get desperate. So I think there is completely a sense of let's not overcomplicate things that's why the canvas is just in 20 minutes i can tell you if your project is good or not i don't need more just one page um, but we need a bit of structure to compare to build competencies to to let senior leaders understand better projects but then the agility is key of course i think this is a it's just what i call these hybrid approaches right we need to have a bit of thinking a bit of planning a bit of wishing where we want to go but then apply hybrid and agile methods wherever you can. Great question. Thank you. Good dilemma. Important. Gracias. De nada. Fantastic. Coach, you have to get your hand up. Yeah, thanks, thanks Guy. Uh, great, great, great presentation, Antonio. So thank you, Rick. Traditionally, um, if a person wants to become a project manager, they take one of those popular, well-known global project management qualifications, like yeah. the PMI or Prince yeah. or IPMA, okay? Um, 
from your presentation, I'm sensing, oh, that's rather different. <laughs> that's rather <laughs> modern. So given that maybe we're people and all organizations are locked into the mindset, yeah, we want project managers, we'll send more people to do PMI or whatever. I'm just wondering, I'm curious from your point of view, whether these project management bodies, these more traditional ones, whether they are changing fast enough to <laughs> your new project economy, okay? And is that going to be yet another obstacle to getting the world skilled up or not? Thank you, Rick. Great, great, great question. And, and coming from PMI, where I was the chair, I completely agree. I think we... Uh, we are not fast enough in changing the me credentials, the methodologies. Uh, uh, they miss the agile uh, wave uh, just because overcomplicating things. And so I, I, I agree. I think the current credentials, I give you some basics. It's maybe 10% of what you need to know, right? And it's a good way to know that you have invested on developing. It's a bit like an MBA. Of course, MBA gives you much more. But it's it's a good credential, but it doesn't make for me a, an implementation specialist. You need to understand what we were talking before: culture. You need to understand structure. You need to have empathy. You need to, of course, know, know how to make a plan. And so, I don't think there is a today a, a certification that covers all these things. Um, I developed the strategy implementation certification professional, but it's more the umbrella, it's the higher picture. We don't go into the methods in each step. So I completely agree that these organizations, either they're changed or there's somebody else who's going to say, we don't need them anymore. We don't need them. Thank you. Great, great, great observation. I'm learning from all these questions too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>